Morning guys. I am ready to get started planting here at home now. Planter's all set up. Open up the valves here. The guy was here last night with the Salford vertical tillage tool and he went over everything, smoothed it out a bit. The first bunk we want about 55 acres to fill, that's what we did last week. And then the second bunk is a little bit smaller, so we need about 45 acres. Should be able to get that planted here today. Gonna work at these strips here at the home farm. Just one a little bit here, want to see how it's doing. So it appears to be closing up decent enough. You can see here, there's a little slice, but it's planting pretty good. So I'm just doing my end rows here. I always do the end rows first so that I know when to pick up the planter. And it's fine if you drive over them a little bit when you turn around, it doesn't matter. It's really nice, we just took off alfalfa. I can just drive in these fields right beside. Makes it a lot easier to get the ends done. no-till because it uh, doesn't disrupt the soil much it keeps the soil there so we don't have runoff when it rains and stuff but after rye like this we like to do a little bit of tillage so we had that gen till machine and then the Salford tool so it's kind of scratched up a little bit it's definitely not tilled deep and there's still some you can see some rye here that green that's still growing there so it, it didn't disrupt the soil too much but it kind of broke it up a little bit. It cost us about $30 an acre to run those two tillage tools over this. Finish up those first three strips out through there. There's a 17 acre field right here now, and I'm gonna load up with seed again before I start that. Should be able to do that whole field in one shot then. Got the end rows done on this big field now. I have to go around the field and do at least three passes on every side because we have a 60 foot sprayer and that means I have to straddle the 12th and 13th row. I want to be able to follow the rows while spraying the edges of the fields so I have to at least do those three passes. I usually end up doing four. I like to have four passes on the end so I can turn around. It gives me plenty of space at 60 feet. Now I'm going to start working my way across. Usually start on one side of the field and then just turn straight around at the end and go back the other way. It's planted really good. And it's supposed to get warm today, up over 80 degrees, so that's going to be the warmest day of the spring so far.
started working at a couple fields here across the road and there's a fence line here that they just cleared a bunch of trees out of which is nice they gave us an extra 12 feet or so here or more but i was coming along and i caught this stump right here didn't see it it's not that big but Bent this road cleaner around the bottom here where you said to lift it up above the stopper. It's supposed to lift on its own, some should be good to go. Working on my last field for today here. Got all the rye stubble fields covered, and this field here was actually alfalfa last year, and we had sprayed and killed it. This is the field that wraps around our bunker silos and the free cell barn there. Okay, we got it done. Still got some corn to plant. Not going to do it this week though. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys.